At MIT's Pick Our Institute for Learning and Memory, Nobel laureate Susumu Tonegawa works as a professor of biology and neuroscience, doing cutting-edge research on molecular biology, a field that was just emerging when he was in college. I got interested in molecular biology when I was a senior in a university in Kyoto, Japan. I was majoring in chemistry, but I wanted to explore into a more new discipline of science. And uh, this was uh, early 60s, and uh, um, it was just about the time when the molecular biology was coming out in the uh, United States and uh, Europe. And I read those papers and immediately decided I'm going to be trained as a molecular biologist. Tonegawa did graduate work at the University of California, San Diego. His research took him to the Basel Institute for Immunology in Switzerland, where he was one of the first people to apply molecular biology techniques to immunology. All I know is, if I don't do something really new, I get bored, and I can't maintain my life. I always try to find interesting cutting-edge questions and cutting-edge technology. Often, however, we, I, I end up combining different approaches, and this combination has never been tried by people. Tonegawa's groundbreaking work in antibody diversity led to a Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1987. His discoveries helped explain the genetic mechanism that allows cells in the immune system to adapt to and fight off almost any kind of infection. One of the most uh, uh, interesting uh, thing, lessons I've had is there is a gold mine in uh, what is called interdisciplinary areas. You see, the science. You know, traditional division of science is something like a physics, chemistry, biology, earth and the planetary science, or things like that. Science has become so specialized in each of disciplines, specialized discipline. Uh, between them, they often don't talk to each other. And therefore, they don't notice. There's something untouched wonderful questions, wonderful approaches, uh, there to be used, but uh, unless you, are, you consciously uh, uh, look for, seek uh, such uh, strategy, uh, many people do not even notice it. Tonegawa's research today is in neuroscience, a field, he says, that has plenty of room for discovery. We have uh, words for many things for which we don't really understand the underlying mechanism, like, uh, you know, language. So we use the language uh, routinely. You, baby can learn any language easily, but uh, what is happening in the brain when one is using the language, when the baby, infant, learn language so efficiently, and so fast, in a so rich manner? We know nothing about it. Tonegawa says this is a rewarding discipline for young scientists to go into. So this is the one of the, in the biological direction, this is a great direction for young people to go. Okay? Neuroscience, in the broad sense of brain research, will continue at least the next 100 years, probably more. And there will be a great discoveries in this direction. We have so many unresolved mysteries and uh, Young people who want to study this will not be bored for many years to come.